Greetings and salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query Tutorial! In today's video, we are gonna take this data set, that's basically the first name, middle name, and last name, and we got a pattern column. What we're gonna do is, this pattern column, we are gonna display, add a column that displays these names in the order of the pattern. So here you can see, Visa is the last name, that's first, and then second one would be Ebert and then Ioana. So that's basically the order. And this dictates the order in which you show the full name. Well, there's going to be a lot of new stuff that we're going to learn in Power Query. So let me show you how to do it. All right, first step, click in your data set, go to data and say from table array. Now that opens Power Query. All right, this is where the magic starts. So the very first step we're going to do is I'm going to work in the advanced editor because I love working in the advanced editor. I'm going to go in there. Cool, we're gonna add a new step in there. Let's call this add full name. That's the step name. And I'm gonna say use table, add column. And we're gonna add the column to the source, which is simply this data set over there. And the new column we're gonna add, we're gonna give it a name that is gonna be, let's say, full name ordered. Now we can simply put an each there and I'm gonna put an underscore in there and we need to end this with add full name and let's return that. Let's see what happens. So it added a new column and that column is of the type record and it represents each row in this data set. All right, that's a good starting point. Let's go back to the advanced editor. What I want to do is I want to convert these records into lists because I want to use list transform to do my magic. So I'm going to say record to list and simply wrap that in there and say, okay. So now what this does is it basically returns each row, but as a list. There we go. Cool. Good starting point. Good starting point. So the next thing I want to do is I want to do some magic. And I want to do this magic with nested let. So in this each statement, the reason why I'm going to use a nested let is because you can do so many steps all in one statement. So I'm going to say each let, all right? And I'm going to say in. Cool. Let's give this guy a name. We're going to call this one the row list. And that's the name of the, the step in there. And I'm just going to return that as row list and show you what this means. So if I do that, it's going to return exactly the same as before. All right. So nothing really happened. Cool. Next thing what I want to do is I want to grab that last record, basically the pattern, right, from this list. So how do I do that? I'm simply going to say take the row list and return item number zero, one, two, three. Number three would be the list item. Okay, cool, so now I know that. But what I wanna do is, now that I'm gonna grab number three, which is the number, I wanna kind of split it by the comma. So I'm gonna say pattern list, I'm gonna say cool. Take the text and split anything in row list three, which is zero, one, two, three, Split that by the comma. Cool. And then let's return pattern list. Let's see what that did. Cool. And now we have a list, but it's only returning the pattern. See that? 0, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. Pretty cool. Now we can do some magic with that. See, this is the beauty of a nested let. You can do many steps in one parent step, right? You can see we only added one step, but we're actually kind of cheating inside of our nested let. We're incrementally working on a solution. Now, the next thing that I want to do is, this is where the magic lies. I'm going to use a function called list transform. Now, list transform is pretty cool. It basically applies a transformation function to each element within a list. So our list, in this case, we need to give it a list. You can see the first thing is give it a list. We are going to give it our list over there, the pattern list. That's what we're going to give it. So I'm going to say selected values. And I'm going to say list transform. We need to give it a list. And that list would be my pattern list. And now inside of there, I need to do a transformation function. So I'm just now going to say each Let's say each. And in there, I'm simply going to say, okay, cool. What I want to do is for each one of these values in the list, I want to return the row list, right? And I want to return item number, let's say number zero. Let's just return select values over there. Now, what this does is, so you can see there are three numbers in the sequence. So three, one, two, and it transforms this pattern of three numbers into something. And it's just telling me Ebert. Right, so now if I go in, I can go like, give me number one. Now that's gonna give me the middle name. Boop. 
You can see that's the case. But now that's a pretty cool thing. That's a cool property we can take advantage of. See, that's 0, 1, 2, 3. Because our pattern is 3, 1, 2. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So what we can do is instead of using hard coding that number, I'm simply going to say number from give me the underscore so the context of each value in my list 3 2 1 1 2 3 right and basically because we have we start counting by 0 we're just going to say minus 1 and that should do the trick let's just quickly see what this does so now what this did, did is it literally used the position 0 1 2 and the pattern to organize the list so now you can see that's basically our list see 3 2 1 holland malcolm x Pretty cool, pretty cool. So we basically solved our puzzle right now, but just using understanding how a list works and how to use list transform. The last thing I'm going to do in here is I'm just going to say, I want to bring that all together. I'm just going to say text combine all of this and delimit that by a space and say, okay. And now like magic, there we go. We actually solved our puzzle quite easily. And all we need to do is say close and load and load it back into Excel. And there it is. There is your solution. Well, I hope that really showed you what you can achieve by understanding how list positions and list transform and simple functionality within Power Query works like nested lists. Well, enough talking. BA Sensei signing out.